machine containing the laser engine and all the electronics associated to it and what's unique about this system is that it actually has uh, an external chiller cart over here which basically allows us to make this system more mobile easier to move around because the weight is kind of distributed between two systems and it allows us also to to increase the reach of the system by being able to put it further away from its power source. So Shalva, if you come over here, I can demonstrate kind of the, the cabling associated with the system. So first off, you have the connection to the current, the electrical outlet, followed by 15 meters of cable attached to the chiller cart. Now, this is a water-cooled system, so all the heat is taken away by these three uh, high-powered chillers. And what's nice about it is that most of the heat generated by the laser engine is actually uh, removed, taken away from the laser, and dissipated near the chiller cart. So from the chiller cart, you have your electrical connection to the laser as well as all the water hoses for the different water-cooled parts. So you've got five meters of cabling going from the chiller cart, which acts as an extension cord, running to the back of the laser engine itself. So you can move this pretty far away from, uh, from where the power hookup is, and you can really um, move this system and deploy it wherever you need. Taking a look at the laser engine itself, in the rear we have the water connections, the electrical connection, as well as a few um, safety features that come standard with our systems. We can plug in interlocks to attach with, uh, with doors, external signage, or even um, external emergency stop buttons so that you can set those up on the field wherever and it works in a certain way that if the interlock installed was to trip by say an open door or anything the laser engine would uh, turn off the laser for, for safety reasons of course so thanks you have this is uh this is an example here of an interlock so you just replace one of these plugs, dummy plugs if you will, by this actual cabling system and then it allows you to use the external accessory and deploy it wherever necessary. So the fiber coming from the back of the engine right now is deployed uh, on the ground in this table here. You actually get 11 meters of fiber with the 500 watt so it's uh, it's pretty versatile you can move it around a lot and when you're done you can spool it around this shape here which ensures uh, protection of the fiber by following like the minimum band radius so you spool it around here uh, drop the laser head in here Voila. That looks really cool, you guys. So the setting selection would go as follow. You would choose a pulse width, slide to select the desired frequency. Slide to select the scan speed, the power, shape size, depends on your application. I'm trying to think right now, I'm going to be holding the Galvo vertically like this. So with the sample that we have, I'm going to want a horizontal beam. And 
I'm gonna get a beam width to match the width of the sample so ideally I can ablate the entire sample in one pass it's roughly 10 centimeters so I'm gonna select that once you've selected all of the settings this standby button becomes selectable by the user and if I click on standby mode the software shows me that the laser is now ready which means I can go to the handheld device and uh, power on and off the laser at will with the with the, the field switch. I'm turning on uh, the external fume extractor just to capture the fumes here because obviously we're indoor in a lab space. Laser cleaning as opposed to media blasting, of course, is uh, requiring much less PPE. So all you really need are these optical blocking glasses, which are meant to block the specific wavelength of our laser. So you put these on to protect your eyesight, and other than that, you're, you're good to go.
down on the shut down on the tablet and then afterwards you turn the key first and you press the red button to shut down and that's all there is plus the chillers with the chiller card